The Victorian age of industry gave the North new wealth, developing it into a powerful partner to the South. Post-World War II industrial decline saw the North lose influence and weight. The rise of Margaret Thatcher's free market policy broke from 30 years of cross-party political consensus on the need for state intervention. Resistance in local government to Thatcherism spawned the Socialist Republic of South Yorkshire, set on halting her agenda. This republic was headed by David Blunkett, born in 1947 to working class parents. He suffered from a rare genetic condition that made him blind. In spite of this, at the age of 22, Blunkett entered local government, becoming a councillor and joining the Brightside Mafia. This group of young radical councillors consisted of trade unionists vying to maintain the services people relied on, obtaining the name of Brightside Mafia through their militant promotion of politics to the left of the broader Labour Party. Despite this name, they didn't delve into organised crime, instead uniting against a common enemy and successfully pushing to deselect the standing MP, Eddie Griffins. He was replaced by Joan Maynard, her socialist views earning her the name Stalin's Granny. In 1972, Blunkett and three other councillors created a new blueprint of public transport for the planned South Yorkshire County Council seeking an ideal end goal of free public transport for all. This became a very popular policy, lowering living expenses which benefited ordinary people, stimulating local bus manufacturing and allowing a better organised transportation system. The situation of 1980s Sheffield was shared across the north of England. Industrial decline as the economy shifted to a service-based focus. Sheffield faced a meltdown in its traditional industries, primarily steel. Within three years, 50,000 jobs were lost, yet Margaret Thatcher's government remained hostile to the old way of state investment to guarantee jobs. Thatcher was equally unsympathetic to high-costing social programs ran by local councils. The city council acted within its limited powers to help the unemployed through grants to encourage new cooperatives, worker-ran organisations. However, the national economic ties were irreversible. Most affected by high unemployment were young people. In 1980, a shared arts and nightclub space called The Lead Mill was opened as a cooperative, intended to be accessible to marginalised groups. They received funding through the council so that they could remain open. City and county council policy successors gave the Socialist Republic popular legitimacy amongst grassroots supporters. The anti-Thatcher movement looked towards Sheffield for leadership. The new right Thatcher government resulted in the rise of an urban new left coalition. With the support of the Sheffield electorate, the city council embraced local socialism, defined by positive action towards women, ethnic and sexual minorities, alongside popular campaigns of nuclear disarmament, and anti-apartheid. Thatcherism became despised in Sheffield, blamed for the high unemployment and the end of the popular cheap transport policy. Deep cuts to grant money received by local authorities forced the council to cut back spending. Her 1983 visit to Cutlers Hall in Sheffield was met with angry demonstrators. In the south, resistance grew in reaction to Thatcherism, among which was Greater London Council leader Ken Livingstone, who displayed a banner showing London's unemployment figures in full view of Parliament. The new left further grew within grassroots supporters, appealing to socially marginalised groups. In reality, conflict between central and local government was only a political show, one which Thatcher confronted when council rates were capped. In 1985, councils could no longer finance spending through higher tax rates or creative accounting. Cuts were made to meet a legally mandated balanced budget, ending the fantasy of an equal struggle. The illusion of a socialist republic was dispelled in 1986, when the South Yorkshire County Council, the Greater London Council and multiple other local governments were abolished under government policy. Despite the clear public approval of local control, power had been centralised. David Blunkett, with his national notoriety, transitioned into parliamentary politics in 1987, becoming an MP and later a minister in Tony Blair's government. In the end, the absence of local input inevitably led to Thatcher's downfall. The 1989 poll tax proved a step too far, provoking large-scale protests and resistance to the community charge. 
leaving Margaret Thatcher to resign in 1990.